In a previous video, I think I said the uh, chuck was fairly fast onto the spindle nose thread, and I haven't tried releasing that yet. So I just closed up the jaws of the chuck uh, and slid the tail stock with its centre up to meet it, and it didn't seem to be quite spot on. Now I've taken the uh, live centre, rotating centre, off the end of the step tailstock nose and if you look at that I think what you'll see is that there's an eccentric hole and a little bit of a slot uh, here to allow that to move. Now I haven't read the manual, I guess I should have, but my guess is that if you adjust that that allows you to change the position of the centre a little bit. So um, that might be uh, the way we do that. So perhaps I ought to read the manual first. Anyway, uh, I'll clamp that back on, uh, realign that live center with the center of the jaws on the chuck. And uh, the only way I can guess that those are in the center, sorry, can't see in this light is by spinning it and seeing if uh, something runs true in there. But I don't want to spin it while the cross slide is so far along the bedways. Uh, anyway, we'll do a little bit of testing. A bit further breakdown of the tail stock. Well, by taking that little screw off there, uh, removing the uh, aluminium alloy, not aluminium part there the tailstock barrel comes out it is a truncated barrel uh, but the truncation uh, is caused by this threaded section it looks like the threads at the very end are um, uh, ground down uh, and I'll just unscrew that part so that's a tailstock barrel with the key way to stop it turning. It's got a hole through which is threaded. It's a left hand thread. Um, that thread may have been intentionally damaged, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so as you back that off, then if you've got something in the end there that will push the end of this thread will push it out whatever's in there uh, and then as you push it along this bit on the front will stop it going too far out the other way uh, what we need now is to check that is hard up against the end of this uh, so that it pushes against the back of that as it's been screwed out and obviously as it's been screwed in uh, you've got the whatever's clamped onto the end there uh, to pull it, pull this back, to move it backwards and forwards inside that bore. So there we have it. Um, I'm told that's just a parallel bore down there. Obviously we can check that a little bit later. So that's the uh, tailstock disassembled.